Welcome back friends and today's video is one that I've really been putting off. I've been wanting to do it. I've just been crazy I'm busy. I'm actually going to Norway tomorrow for 10 days and the funny thing is I actually thought I had like another day to like pack and do all that kind of stuff um, but no. My husband's like, oh, uh, we're leaving tomorrow and I'm like, no we're not. We're leaving Thursday morning and he's like uh no we're leaving tomorrow and he showed me the dates and I'm like okay we're leaving tomorrow so needless to say I've been running around like a crazy person doing laundry and packing and I had like big plans to do a packing video so you could see all the clothes that I'm bringing and how I'm packing and all the organization but uh that's not gonna happen so so sorry, so sorry. But today's video is something that I'm really excited to share with you. I got a couple of goodies in and I wanted to make sure that I shared them with you before I went on my trip. But before we begin, if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are back again, then I am so glad. My name is Jessica and we do luxury fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you like those things, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you won't miss anything. So I've been on the hunt for foundations that are really good, that look very natural, and that feel very lightweight. So if you've been following the channel, you know that I normally wear the Makeup by Mario foundation. It goes on really smooth. I have to say that this is full coverage. So on the days where I kind of want to look more glam, I'll use this one. My normal everyday foundation is actually this NARS, which is a tinted moisturizer it's pure radiant tinted moisturizer broad spectrum spf 30 sunscreen and this one applies amazing it goes on really smooth it looks like i don't have makeup on but it gives me an even tone it has a little and when i say little a very little chalky feel to it i think that's because it has the sunscreen in it and I religiously wear sunscreen, whether it's raining, snowing, sleeting, whatever. 365 days a year, I wear sunscreen. So I like for my products to have some kind of uh, protectant in them, especially my foundation. But I've been hearing so many good things about this next foundation that I actually ran out to Sephora and purchased it. So. Today I'm going to be looking at, this is, I'll bring it a little closer here, you can see. This is Dr. Jart, this is BB Premium Beauty Balm. It's a multi-tasker. It hydrates, conceals, and protects, and it has sunscreen uh, SPF 40. So I love that. This is a buildable coverage with a very natural finish. So I'm going to be putting it on today and We'll see how it looks. But first, before I put anything on, I'm gonna go ahead and put on, I had ordered this Bobbi Brown Hydrating Face Cream from Nordstrom's and it just came in. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. This is my first time wearing this, so I, I, hope, I hope it's really creamy and good. You know that my face is dry and it tends to always peel or flake so anything that's hydrating is something that i love the summertime my skin does a lot better obviously because it's not so dry it's more humid out but let's try this out so this is what the tub looks like and da -da -da. it's a cute little pot let's open it up a little creamy texture in there i'm just going to go ahead and put it all over rub it in it has a bit of a scent to it um i don't know what it it smells a little cooling it smells a little bit like minty but it's one of those scents i'm sure that will dissipate 
over time. Let's put it on the forehead real good. I love putting moisturizer on my lid and on my brow. I think a lot of people shy away from doing that because they think that their eye makeup is gonna get cakey or they're gonna use a primer, but I feel like adding the moisturizer is really a benefit for prevention of fine lines and wrinkles. It keeps that thin skin hydrated, which means we're gonna have less pull, less cracks and creases, whether we put makeup on or not normally, just with our skin. Okay, using the viewfinder to rub this in. Okay, not bad. It definitely feels light. It doesn't feel thick or heavy, and it doesn't have a consistency that makes it feel oily or anything like that. It feels really nice, really smooth. It actually feels a little bit like a primer. So let's see how this works. This might actually be something that I could use as a primer also, so we'll see. All right, so today I'm gonna try this Dr. Jart. I have it in the color light medium. They actually only have three colors. And I'll throw the picture up on the screen here. So I don't really know how that works, but I guess you could, if you're like in between a shade or whatever, you could just kind of mix and match. So this is what the container looks like. It looks like it would be squeezable, but it's not. It's super hard, super hard. I kind of like that for traveling because it won't be squeezed and everything comes out. So I kind of like that. Okay, so let's check it out. It has a little pump. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right on my backside of my hand there. It comes out nice and creamy. I did buy a brush at Sephora because my foundation brush, my liquid foundation brush, um, really was kind of on its last leg and it was losing lots of hair. And I knew that it was time to change it up because I was getting lots of streaks when I put the liquid foundation on. So I bought a couple brushes. I brought, bought this bronzer brush, number 88. I bought a angled blush brush. This is 93 and number 70, which is a pro foundation brush. So this is the brush that I'm gonna use. You can use this with dry or liquid foundation. Comes just like this, really nice. So we're gonna go ahead. It has a little rounded top, as you can see. I'm gonna dab a little in there and then put it on. All right, so right away I can tell a little bit goes definitely a long way. I probably did a little bit too much on my hand. I probably could use just one pump of it. But as of right now, I'm, I like it. It feels very light. It feels like I'm actually not putting anything on but I can see that it is evening out some of my imperfections and some of the redness. There we go. Oh, this brush, this brush is amazing. I think I've been using the wrong foundation brush all, all this entire time because this is just almost like buffing it into my skin and it's just Flawless. I don't see any streaks or marks at all. Oh, very nice. Oh, I like this. So as you can see, it, it makes everything even, but it, you don't feel like you have this mask on. And also, it's buildable. So if I wanted a little bit more coverage, if I had a blemish or maybe more redness, I could definitely build on top of this. Oh, that looks really great. Awesome. If you guys have tried the BB um, Beauty Balm from Dr. Jart, let me know. Let me know how you like it. Definitely hit me up in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. 
but again okay looks so good looks so good love that all right so next I'm gonna go ahead and put some blush on I have my handy dandy Chanel this is Rose Rubin and this is what it looks like inside got a nice pink color I don't use that brush I'm gonna use a different brush I'm gonna use the angled brush that I just got the Sephora 93 so let's go ahead and open that up now I'm really bad at knowing what brush to use for what and especially since many brushes don't have it labeled on the brush they just have a number and so what I'm gonna do is label for it and put it around the base of the brush so that it says what it is just because I I'm kind of a newbie and I'm still figuring out what belongs to what but here is my angled blush brush 93 from Sephora I'm gonna take a little bit of this I'm just going out to run errands so I don't want to be fully made up just tap that on the rose roses of my cheek just very minimal I think I could use a little more there we go there we go very nice very nice I'm actually in the mood to try to get a more corally colored blush for the summertime I just think brightening it up maybe having more of an orange tone to it will just give me a little freshness i'd like to kind of get rid of the deeper warmer colors right now and start using some of these cool colors for the summertime okay so really natural a little more here really natural and nice all right now what I got next is something I've been wanting to show you and I've been holding off I actually got it like three or four weeks ago but I haven't had a chance to show you guys so I got this palette I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it I don't know if it's Vivive or Vive I don't know but it is the nine teeth palette and the packaging is gorgeous look at that we've got this black mat we have some gold like filigree and then here are whoops here are colors so why I bought this palette was because I actually liked every single color in this palette and that rarely happens normally I will like one but not others so oh, let me take that plastic off so here we go this is a very neutral palette as you can see we have some lighter tones and then we move down to some warmer tones and we actually have there's a cool it's called 93 color this one right here in the bottom which I'm excited to use but I love the names of them we have like skimp acid wash supermodel VHS whatever dial up phase low rise 93 and soot so today I'm gonna try I think I'm gonna try hmm maybe a little of this soot right here it's kind of like a brown with a little bit of purple in it almost like a like a deep eggplant but it has a little bit more of a brown in it so I'm just gonna let's see how it picks up color and test it out here all right so right away I can tell that it goes on very smooth it's definitely easy to blend as far as longevity of it we'll see and I'll let you know so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the other eye with everyday eyeshadow I just love to take one color and kind of swish it all over the eye 
and if I want to get a little bit of depth then I'll go ahead and get some more color and just concentrate on the outside corner of the eye and the crease and just dab it in. Whoops, that went a little crazy. Okay, we need to blend this out a little bit. There we go. Do it with the other side. Nice, supernatural, supernatural. Just a little bit of depth. But this, look, I mean, seriously, I love buying eyeshadows that all of the palette is basically usable. And this is a great way to travel, right? Then you don't have to bring individual pots or um, quads of eyeshadow. You can just bring your palette. Obviously it has a mirror, so we're good to go. All right, up next. Definitely not least, but I had mentioned to you that I wanted to incorporate more corals into my makeup for the summertime. So I purchased this lipstick. This is Yves Saint Laurent uh, Rouge Shine Oil and Stick. And it is number 12, does it have a color? Coral Dolmen. So we'll see. Anyway, take it out of the package. Here is what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful. It's gold, it's got little YSL. And we're gonna open it up. It is a thinner lipstick, as you can see, right? It's not your traditional thicker bullet. And let me go ahead and put it on for you so you can kind of see. Oh yeah. I love this. It is super smooth. It's almost like putting a gloss on. Uh, I was not ready for that. I was expecting more of a traditional lipstick feel, but it definitely, oh yeah, this is really good. Well, it says oil and stick. It. This is great. I mean, and look how pretty that is to put that in your pocketbook or in your clutch when you go out. But it is super, super light, very easy, very smooth to put on. Let me smell it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it has a little bit of a fruity smell to it. Oh, I like that. It's kind of like fresh in summertime. So this is perfect. So if you're looking to like replace your traditional deep red, Maybe you use that more when you're looking for drama, right? When you're getting dressed in an evening or a more glam look. But if you wanted to, you know, replace that for the summertime or springtime, I definitely suggest this color. I absolutely love it. And I think especially because I'm like a medium to olive skin tone, it really shows up nicely. Oh, yeah. I love that. All right, I so love now that. that I showed you all my new products, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on. But before I do that, I wanted to show you, they sent me this little sample of Bobbi Brown. Let me see if you can see it there. There we go. Bobbi Brown. This is vitamin enriched face base. So I'm excited to use this and this couldn't have come at a more perfect time because I'm traveling. But, oh my gosh, look at that cute little pot. How pretty and minimal the packaging is. Just a little Bobbi Brown on the top here. Take a sniff of it. Yeah, this one, this one has more of a fresh light scent to it. Almost like linen, like hanging outside in the summertime. Yeah. So we'll see, we'll see how that does. You know that I'm like super sensitive to smells and my skin is like ridiculously sensitive. So we'll see how this works, but couldn't have come at a better time. So thank you so much, Bobby Brown, for sending me this little sample. They also sent me this little goodie, which is Bobby Brown Soothing Cleansing Oil. So, so cute, I mean, so cute. I'm gonna be packing these in my bag tonight. And Pharmacy, you know that I love their cleansing balm. 
I mean, you need to run to Sephora to go get it because it takes off everything. I have had so many issues with getting eye makeup off. Basically, I would like double wash my face and use the eye makeup remover and then I'd wake up the next day and I'd still have like residue of eyeliner or mascara or whatever, but the pharmacy cleansing balm, I mean, it takes everything away and it leaves your skin feeling very moisturized and it doesn't feel like your skin has been stripped, which I really love, especially since my skin is dry and very sensitive. But a uh, pharmacy sent me to try, let me put it this way, there we go. This is the Honey Halo. It is ultra hydrating ceramide moisturizer. So I'm gonna put this in my uh, carry-on so that I can use it during the flight because you know when you're traveling and that airplane, it just sucks your skin dry. I also packed, um, Neutrogena has some hydro masks. So I, I got two hydro masks, a hand mask and a foot mask. And I thought during this long flight from North Carolina to Norway, I will have time to do a lot of my beauty, but also I just think it's a great way to stay, your skin to stay hydrated during a really long flight. Well, anyway, guys, I am so glad that I got to show you Dr. Jart, the foundation, because I was like, I, I can't gatekeep this. If it really is as good as everyone says it is, I need to make sure that I pass it along to you guys and so that you can start using it right away. I am definitely going to be vlogging while I am in Norway and my goal is to be able to go to many of the luxury Norwegian beauty places like um, I think they have like a specific pharmacy that is only luxury beauty for a specific Norwegian brand. I'm not quite sure. I know my sister's been talking about it, so I'm gonna go check that out. And also, I'm going to be visiting some of Norway's elite uh, fashion designers and give you a little sneak peek about who they are and behind the scenes, so stay tuned for that. But I will miss you guys, and hopefully, wherever you are, that you have a wonderful day today. And remember to like and subscribe. We are growing and I cannot be more grateful for that. You guys have created such a wonderful community and I just enjoy talking back and forth uh, with you guys, asking you questions, answering questions, and just learning about you. And I love to see the interaction that you with both different people online and you guys are talking and it's just so nice to have this community, especially because we all are passionate about the same things. And when you are passionate about the same things, it's so exciting to meet other people that are passionate and we just have a really good time and connect. So anyway, wish me safe travels. Please pray for us. Pray that we have a safe trip and that everyone stays healthy. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.